Nikon, are you a little late? Those who enjoy talking about cameras or equipment may have this question on their minds. The Nikon Z8 might be the camera that aficionados who don't constantly worry about upgrading their camera have been waiting for, though. All signs also point to the Nikon Z8 being simply a less expensive version of the highly regarded Supreme Z9. But how true is that? To better comprehend the Nikon Z8, let's take a closer look. Although the camera is noticeably smaller than on the Z9, it is still a reliable beast. Despite the use of magnesium alloy and carbon fiber, the body carries more weight than other Nikon models. The grip resembles that of the D850, and the placement of the dials is similar as well. We previously speculated that Z8 would be the mirrorless version of the Nikon D850, so similarities are justifiable. It has an easily accessible AF joystick at the back, along with various customizable buttons, and on the left side of the camera you'll find the control pinnacle. The Z8 shares the same viewfinder as the Z9, but its DX CMOS chip's parallel readout design provides a highly responsive and low lag feed. Interestingly, the Z8 stands out as the first camera to feature two USB-C ports. However, the smaller body size is made possible by utilizing a smaller battery, so enabling energy saving settings might give you better run time more on this later. The Nikon Z8 has the XSpeed 7 image processing and a 45.7 megapixel stack CMOS sensor, which is remarkable. This combination allows for raw photos to be captured at a rapid rate of 20 FPS, with the capability of shooting over 1000 frames. Additionally, the Z8 offers the option to capture 10-bit HEIF files, alongside RAW, enabling the capture of HDR images using the HLG curve. Similar to the Z9, the Z8 does not have a mechanical shutter, but instead employs a shutter shield mechanism. That can be configured to close when the camera is powered off. Moreover, the autofocus readings can be obtained at a remarkable rate of up to 120 FPS. This comes in handy, particularly when you're shooting professionally and require perfection. Now, let's talk about its video capabilities. The Z8 can record 8K at 30 FPS video in formats, such as ProRes 422HQ, H1265 or H1264. Alternatively, it can capture 8K at 60 FPS video using the NRAW format. Furthermore, Z8 can shoot 4K videos at up to 120 FPS, either subsampled or utilizing oversamples footage derived from 8K capture at up to 60 FPS. Specs are quite similar to the Z9, as you would have guessed already, but the only difference is in the recording time. Nikon Z8 can shoot for 90 minutes approximately, while the Z9 could do that for more than 125 minutes. A smaller body means less ventilation space, so it's quite obvious that the recording time would be cut short. The Sony a7R5 is about 30% lighter than the Z9, while the Z8 is still bigger and thicker than rivals like the Canon EOS R5. It features a smaller body design, accommodating a single grip and utilize the Nikon ENEL 15C battery instead of the larger ENEL 18B battery found in the Z9. Notably, the Z8 incorporates all the advanced features of the Z9, including deep learning subject tracking autofocus and 3D tracking in stills mode. In addition, the Z8 introduces new tracking capabilities for people, animals, vehicles, and even birds. The Z8 also boasts a high-quality 120Hz OLED screen that provides a visually seamless experience almost indistinguishable from a physical viewfinder. To conserve battery life, you'll get the option to set the viewfinder to 60Hz mode. The camera is equipped with mixed card slots, accommodating both CF Express Type-B and as two SD cards, offering compatibility with a wide range of existing memory cards. Similar to other high-end Nikon models, the Z8 incorporates illuminated buttons, facilitating ease of use in low-light condition. Nikon states earlier that there is a segment of photographers who prefer the larger, heavier body and exceptional battery life offered by the Z9, especially those involved in events and sports photography. However, for those seeking a smaller and more affordable option, the Nikon Z8 serves as a baby version of the Z9. The Z8 all-around capabilities are undeniably impressive, as it not only compares favorably with the Canon EOS R5, but also holds its own ground against a professionally priced Sony A1. 
wedding and event photographers, who often need to capture both stills and video, will find the Z8 to be a highly supportive companion. Even without utilizing its most advanced video modes, it offers numerous refinements. The fact that we're comparing it with the Z9, which is arguably the best equipped hybrid camera currently on the market, speaks volumes about the Zydes capabilities. We'd like to see the recording time improve over time via future firmware updates, like the Canon R5, and there's nothing we could nitpick about this camera. The time they can't take to bring the Nikon Z8, it's all worth it to be honest. In our opinion, it's gonna mark its place as the best hybrid camera for many years to come. What do you think? Do you enjoy the Nikon Z8, or do you favor alternative models? Post your comments in the space provided below. Also, think about becoming a subscriber for more articles like this. As always, thanks for watching.